Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this basic or simplified round gym model. Okay? The reason for this is in case you're trying to follow along in one of my tutorials or even a tutorial from someone else and we use this realistic gym model and you don't have it. If you don't have that, uh, you can use this in its place. So the only thing that you can't do with this is make a realistic render. So this, the realistic stone will let you make a realistic render, but as far as modeling is concerned in every other way, this will work just fine, this simple model. And this is very easy to make. And once you've made it, you can save it to a, a folder on your computer, uh, save it somewhere where you will remember how to, how to get to it, and then uh, anytime that you need it, you can use the import command to bring it into the scene, okay? Also, uh, the round stones will double as oval stones. You just need to stretch them uh, in one direction. So you get kind of a two for one special. So we'll go ahead and create a new file. I'll use the small objects millimeters template. We'll go into the front viewport and we'll come to the standard tab and select the point tool and we'll place the first point in the center of the world. So zero enter. We will select it and move it over five millimeters. And the reason I'm moving it over five millimeters, I want to make this model 10 millimeters in diameter. That's just something I do. I make all of my uh, gym models 10 millimeters wide. We want to make a copy of this point. So while it's selected, hit control C and then control V. Now there are two points. We want to move one of them up 0.34 millimeters. This is for the girdle or edge of the stone. We want to drop another point in the center of the world and we're going to move it up 1.96 millimeters. Then we want to move it out 2.65 millimeters. This is going to be the top of the stone. We're going to drop in one more point and we're going to move it down negative 4.31 millimeters. All right, now all we need to do is connect those points together with a polyline. So get the polyline tool and make sure you've got O snaps turned on and that you have the point snap activated. And then just snap to each point. When you get to the last point, just hit enter to finish the command. And now we can delete these points. We don't need them anymore. Now we're gonna click on the surface tools tab and click on revolve. It's gonna ask us to select the curves that we would like to revolve and of course we want to revolve this one, so we'll select it. Then it asks us to hit enter when we've selected all of the curves, so hit enter. And now it says start of revolve axis. That is going to be the center of the world, so hit zero and enter. And now it says end of revolve axis. We want the end of our axis to be somewhere along this green line here. Remember, we are in the front view, by the way. So you're gonna hold down shift and that should, as long as you're moving up and down, that should constrain you to the green axis. Just click anywhere along the green axis. And then it says start angle uh, zero. If it doesn't say zero, if it says zero there, you can just hit enter. If it does not say zero, you'll need to come over to the command line and type zero and hit enter. Next and finally, it says revolution angle. It should say 360 there, but if it doesn't, if it says it, you can just hit enter. If it doesn't, you'll need to type 360 and hit enter. All right, we will come, we will uh, select this line. We don't need it anymore and then delete it. We'll come to the perspective viewport and put it in shaded mode, and zoom in a little bit. We need to, you can see we've got everything except for the top is open. So select it, come to solid tools and do clap, uh, clap, cap planar holes. All right, and now we are finished with the model. And all you have to do now is file, save, and save it somewhere on your computer uh, where you uh, can remember, you know, easily remember where it is. I would suggest making a folder that uh, you could kind of consider like a library folder that you can easily access as far as you can easily remember how to get to it. And then whenever you need it, you can go file, import, go to that folder and then click on this uh, stone and uh, click open and it will import it into your scene for you. Eventually, I hope to make a tutorial about how to create a custom library folder. And uh, as you perhaps build a library of objects that you use a lot, you can just drag them into your scene 
uh, and and uh, you know very easily. So because they'll be over here on the side panel. But that's a project for a few, a, another day. But all right, we've got this modeled, and hopefully that'll be very useful for people who are trying to follow along uh, in my tutorials or even other you know other uh, tutorials on other channels about about jewelry design. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And consider subscribing to my channel. Also, uh, I would like to start inviting people to come to uh, follow me over on Twitter. So I do have a Twitter for the WebDunce TV channel, and I haven't really been promoting it. As you can see, it only has five followers right now. I would love to have all of my subscribers following me over on Twitter. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in future videos.